So right now I want to introduce Naomi Winch. She is the mother of three boys, a foster mom, and a community activist. She's a leader and a teammate, a loyal friend, and a fierce advocate. She's politically and socially progressive, an ally to immigrant communities, and a feminist. She'll fight for our civil rights and make sure there are people in office who will represent the most vulnerable among us. Naomi Winch is the political organizer driving the New Americans Caucus for the PA Democratic State Committee and the president of the East Penn Democratic Club. No worries, it still works. pussy hats everywhere. Although it would be nice if they were in multiple colors, don't you think? Yeah. All right, guys. So first and foremost, I am a mom. As, as, um, as, oh God, what's your name again? Lizzie. So, so Lizzie mentioned that my husband made a wonderful introduction for me for that last night. But I'm a mom. And my earliest memories and every picture of me when I was a little girl since the time I was walking was with me holding a baby doll. I came from a divorced family like many, and after my parents divorced, my dad went into a deep depression and he lost our family home. And he was homeless for many years. He outfitted his van with a bed for himself, and my mom would tell me, he can come over for dinner once a week. So I have a vivid memory of asking my dad, what day would you like to eat? You know, making sure he would eat at least one meal a week. My brother and I would steal money from my mom, for my dad. And in his, to be fair, in his perspective, he would say he was living this hippie dream, living off the grid. But I'm a mom, like since I was an infant. So he, so he, I worried about him as if he were my child. When I was 14 years old, I was raped by an ex-boyfriend. It caused me two years of anxiety and depression. And I was a homebound student through the 11th grade. The summer of my senior year, going into my senior year, I decided I was gonna leave home uh, to follow a boy uh, to the Florida Keys and I left on a plane with $40 in my pocket, my two cats, and all of my belongings. My relationship with that boy, and I can say that because we were only 17, became violent. He used to say to me things like, the only way you're going back home was in a body bag. And was, he was arrested for physically assaulting me while I was driving my car. He went back to Pennsylvania after that, and I stayed. I grew. I learned how to be an adult at a very young age, working a budget, managing a franchise pizza restaurant, buying groceries, managing staff, and a store. I was 17. And I look at that time like, oh my freaking God. Oh my God, who does this? You know, and I'm a mom now. Like, I didn't even... I know I was able to handle it, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> My husband and I met making pizzas here in Pennsylvania. I, we, I came home because my grandfather asked me to. He was getting sick to the point where he need, my mom needed help taking care of him. And so I met my, my husband at the, I transferred up from the pizza restaurant uh, up here. and. He was the first person that I dated that I could trust, that I could rely on, that I could be happy with forever. I got my high school diploma online. We got married, we had made some babies, and then we adopted some babies. And we keep collecting them. 
It's awesome. Being a foster parent is a rock star thing to do. I love being a mom. I love being a foster mom. And there's nothing more gratifying to hold hands with a child who needs you at the most vulnerable time. In 2008, I found my voice. I had serious opinions suddenly. And I started volunteering with the Hillary Clinton campaign. And as hard as that was for her to lose that primary, I licked, licked my wounds and I jumped right onto the Obama bandwagon. I learned skills of running a coordinated campaign, of running a uh, campaign field effort. After Obama, I became a founding member of Seven Generations Charter School. It's a green charter school in Emmaus, Pennsylvania. I became a Montessori Christian education t teacher was on the board of every single preschool that my kids went to. And for my youngest, I uh, ran a, um, a cooperative preschool out of my home for families that couldn't afford their own pre preschools. When Bernie Sanders came to the scene, he, took, he launched my opinions into the future for my kids and for society. I would have done anything to make that man president. I, as a team leader, I outfitted my home for, as a staging location, and we won Emmaus by 10%. Yeah! <laughs> Quickly, I jumped onto the Hillary bandwagon after he lost the primary, but Bernie's message has stayed with me. And my favorite thing that he has said to me that, that really permeates who I am and what I'm doing right now is he said, infiltrate the Democratic Party and change it. That's right, we need to change it. We took on the responsibility of the Hillary campaign for our part of the county, and fellow volunteers and I, we dreamed about what we wanted in a democratic organization. So we created it. We have volunteers using their professional skills and talents to help Democrats win. We bring resources to candidates, not because they're the most affluent candidates, but because they're the best candidates for the job. We've got graphic designers, they're over there. We've got speech prep people that I did see here, but it's freezing, so they probably left. We have volunteers that do photography, and volunteers to knock doors and call people. We use our, cre our creativity to spread our message. This year, my husband made a mobile ballot that, met, that reached over 5,000 Lehigh County residents and got them out to vote. Last week, we started doing podcasts. How freaking cool is that? So we still continue with our monthly meetings, and every monthly meeting, you will be educated on something you need to understand more about. Yeah. We have a thriving Facebook community, resourceful websites, and weekly emails of events. We texted voters under 40 this year all over Lehigh County, and an 86-year-old man was the one that did all the clicking. He's the one, an 86-year-old man, made th over 3,000 text messages just themselves. Training volunteers to run for precinct committee people. Uh, we train people on Vote Builder. We train candidates. We're the evolved version of the Democratic Party, and I'm proud and I'm honored to work with this amazing team of volunteers. I have a little brother who's a lot bigger than me. That's an opioid, he's an opioid addict. And he had this really great idea. He's been clean for about a year now. He had this really great idea to have a recovery clubhouse here in Lehigh County. Luckily, I found a candidate and got her to run for office, and she is now our first lesbian, County Commissioner Amy Zanelli. I'm looking forward to seeing that vision my brother has come to fruition. Lately, I've been given an opportunity 
to work with New Americans Caucus for the Pennsylvania State Party, which is really weird because I'm really white and my family's been here for generations. But I'm a mom. And I'm not just a mom to my kids or white kids. I'm a mom to every kid. Yeah. And we know, by statistically speaking, by 2056, our population in the United States will be every shade of brown, black, and yellow. They will have almond eyes. For our children, we need accurate representation. White males can sympathize, they can pound the doors with us, but they lack the personal perspective of a woman, of an immigrant, of a black or brown or yellow-skinned individual. We need the reflection of our Muslim, of our Hindu, of our Buddhist citizens. It is time that we link our arms together, that we work hard for one another, for a more fair and equitable future for ourselves, for our neighbors, for our grandchildren and our children. <laughs> me, seriously short, little me, who had a homeless dad, was raped, was beaten, treat, be, treated unfairly by men. Me, not college educated, anxious me, is leading in the changing of the political landscape here in the Lehigh Valley and throughout the state. This work is not glamorous, but we have fun doing it. And the more creative minds and hardworking hands that come together, we will become a revolution. We love you, Shireen. You, little you in this crowd who doesn't think that they have the knowledge or the ability to do what I am doing. You, join your county party. Become a precinct committee person. Start this uh, February 13th. 